Here we have 7.1, solving a quadratic equation using the square root property, exact answers advanced. So before you can apply the square root property, you do have to have the term or the expression that is being squared isolated. So for this example, I would have to add the 54 over to the other side. And I would get x minus 4 squared equal to positive 54. Then I could apply the square root on both sides, leaving me with the expression x minus 4 without the square. On the right hand side, I'd get square root plus or minus the square root of 54. Now 54 is 9 times 6, I believe. Yes, and so then the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 6 cannot be simplified. And then if I add 4 to both sides, remember these are not like terms. One has a square root attached, the other does not. So we simply write the number without the root in the front, then the plus or minus, and then the 3 square root of 6. Now if the computer allows you to type this in as your answer, great. If it does not, you do have to separate the problem into its two solutions. Positive 4 plus 3 square root of 6 and positive 4 minus 3 square root of 6. Similarly, if I work on this example, I would have to add 28 to both sides. So I get x plus 5 squared equals 28. Then I could take the square root on both sides. I get the expression x plus 5 equals plus or minus the square root of 28. This is 4 times 7. So I get x plus 5 equals plus or minus the square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 7 cannot be simplified. Subtract 5 on both sides. We get negative 5 plus or minus 2 square root of 7. Again, if you can type this expression as it is into the computer, then do so. But if you cannot, then go ahead and separate it with the comma. So 5 plus 2 square root of 7 comma negative 5 minus 2 square root of 7. And for our last example here, we'll add 16 to both sides. We get x plus 9 squared equal to positive 16. Take the square root on both sides. We get x plus 9 equals plus or minus the square root of 16. Um, the square root of 16 is actually 4. And if I minus 9, I get x equals negative 9 plus or minus 4. Now this one does not have a radical next to it. So these are like terms. And since they are like terms, we can go ahead and add and subtract those. So negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. Negative 9 minus 4 is negative 13. And so the two solutions are negative 5 and negative 13.